see the backwards. My camera backwards? things um heads up i just i purchased this one it's the of course mascara it's from alien colors uh wowie lashes um i don't like it i'm wearing it now can you guys tell um what's with the one look at it's curvy maybe because i don't have much practice with these but, oh, it was a disaster. I had mascara all over my eyelid on the bottom. It was just no, no bueno. Um, so I don't know if I like this. I'm gonna, uh, I like the size though to keep in your purse. You know what I mean? A small size. So maybe I can find the regular one. But this wand thing is just, just not working out for me. But um, for a dollar, I got to try it. Uh, I would like to find the same size, but just a regular wand. I think it would be easier to keep in the purse, but... I don't know. It is what it is. Okay, so random stuff. Picked up some couple of um, coffee cups. Hmm. How many are there in here? Oh, five. It's pretty good, huh? Five for a dollar. Okay. I also picked me up some heat protectant. Have you guys tried this out? This is argan oil. They have a scent to it. Where should I spray it? Where should I spray it? Let's put it back. Uh oh, I think I got a dud. Oh, it smells really nice. Mmm. Actually, it smells really good. Very clean and like not floral, but clean scent. I'm gonna be all sticky probably, huh? All right, I'll wash my hands. But I'm, gonna, I'm you know, interested in trying that out. I got, you know, the register. The register always gets you. Um, I love M&Ms. These are candy corn. I hate candy corn. But I have a coworker who, she loves candy corn. The only person I know who literally loves candy corn. She loves the season so she can buy bags of this stuff. Well, not this particular, but just anything candy corn. I just. No, no. So I picked this up for her though. I gave it to her on Monday. I got me some freeze dry strawberries. I've tried um, the apples. No good. Mm -mm. So I'm hoping these will be um, better. The freezer. Let's find out. Oh, the whole strawberries. See them? They smell like strawberries. Wow. Um. Yeah. Can you guys see? It's called strawberries. Um, there's a taste to it. There's a little freezer taste, freezer burn taste. I think it's like freezer burn. You know when you have frozen fruit in the fridge and you left them too long, you forgot about them and you went to get them? That's what it tastes like. I'm like, it, and it's really tart. It's sweet and really tart. And it's like styrofoam. <laughs> styrofoam. Do you hear that? Yeah. Woo! Yeah, I know. No, no. Oh. 
Please don't get those. Unless you like tart styrofoam flavored. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, it, it tastes like they were bad strawberries and then they got frozen. I'm, I can get over the texture. You know, but the t flavor is just wow. No, thank you. Maybe if you're going to put a compote, you know, make a compote of strawberries with a syrup or something in there. Uh, it might be better. But, wow. The only ingredient according to this is just strawberries. Product of China. So natural is registered to trademark to attach. Oh, yeah. Well, have you guys tried these? Am I, did I just probably get a bad batch? Tell me, did I get a bad batch? It's probably that's what it is, right? Woo! I got me some sea salt. Now, I've never seen sea salt at the Dollar Tree, but I've seen some YouTubers haul the uh, pink um, Himalayan sea salt. I really would love to tr find that, or even a pepper grinder. Uh, but I picked this one up. This was the only one there. I was pretty excited. Um, I'm not sure if it's a good... Well, it is a good deal, to be quite honest. Because I buy the little bags. And that's about $8 for a little bag of sea salt. Natural sea salt. And this one has a grinder in there. Although I use sea salt to put in my food. Um, stews and stuff like that. So it doesn't matter the thickness. Uh, I got some little glue. Single use, because I always buy the big one. I cover it really tight for whatever reason. When I want to use it, you know, days later, they're all it's all dried out. What stuff is that about? So I got single use. Maybe I'll save more than that, because otherwise it's just a waste of money, right? I don't use the whole container, or little tube, and then I just gone a waste. I don't know. But here, I got some. I've never seen command at the. Dollar Tree. But this is um, just small hooks. They hold half a pound. 0.5. Oh wait. And this would be enough. Right? For keys. Well, I don't know if they're going to hold all my keys because I have quite a few keys and, you know, keychains on it. Might not. It can't be more than half a pound. I wouldn't think so. But I'm going to try it out see what happens. Got me a little frame. See, actually that pretty much is it for miscellaneous stuff. I went and I picked up some Halloween stuff. You know, I had to pick up a little extra something. Uh, but these were for pumpkins, to decorate a pumpkin. Isn't she so cute? I love when I saw the pink bowl on it. I'm like, oh, I've got to get that one. It just looks so cute. Oh, it's gonna look so cute. And this is just to put out the door. I love to carve pumpkins, um, but they don't last as long. You know what I mean? They rot pretty quickly. So I figured if I just poke a pumpkin and give it a face, it'll last longer and it'll look pretty outside in the door. And I got these for the same purpose. These are uh, made out of felt material, and it says it has four little faces. Isn't that cute? So I can't wait. A vampire, a witch, some kind of ghoul, and the kitty cat. The kitty cat looks really cute. Have you guys seen that one? That looks really cute. So I can't wait. Imagine the front door having all these little pumpkins on there. I think that'd be great. And of course, look what I picked up. Ain't he cute? Actually, uh, last year picked up the um, the black one. And they actually, this year, they have uh, skulls, skulls and jack-o'-lanterns that um, light up. They have the little lights. Can you guys see the little lights? They light up and they blink a little bit. See? So, um, I'll insert some pictures. There's a bunch of other decorations. There's little skeletons, mummies. Um, you know what I did find that I did not see last year? Um, I didn't pick any up because I didn't really like them, but... 
They were interesting. Um, they're censored little birds that make chirping, black birds, and then little rats that make little noises too. But they're censored, so I thought that was actually kind of cool if you're having a hosting a party. You know, put them randomly and then they'll make little noises if you know that doesn't bother you. But I'm not a big fan of the blackbird or rats for that effect, so I didn't pick any of them up. But I thought they were pretty cute. And then they had tons, of course, stuff for Halloween. It's beautiful. I'm going to have to top of the little one. I can't wait to start decorating. I think I should start decorating now. You know, it's mid-September. Why not? Okay, but look what I picked up. I know. We haven't even passed Halloween. But I've never seen this at the Dollar Tree. At my Dollar Tree. It's a little Christmas tree. It's I don't think it's more than a foot tall. But I hope they'd be cute to at the counter at my office. Or actually, I was even thinking put it in the middle of a dining room table and set it up and build a, around it and just keep it as a centerpiece for the whole season. You know, even we can eat around. My table's pretty big. We can eat around it. So I thought it would be kind of cute. Um, but most likely for the office. I don't know yet. But honestly, I did not see those um, last season. I could have missed it because I can't believe they're out now. But these are so cute. I do want to get some more of these though because these are the glitter, uh, shiny, and matte. And of course, I had to pick up a little skirt for it. Seriously, I had to pick up a little skirt. Isn't that cute? 18 inches. I don't know. I, I know I picked it up. I'm sorry. I can't wait to decorate. But I do love to decorate for it. Uh, you know what? I can even put this out for um, Christmas. Right? If I do purple tones. He's just a little owl. He's just glittery. He's beautiful. Okay, and these. I'm going to go ahead and show you these. This is wall art. I've never seen my Dollar Tree have that. I am ecstatic when I saw it. And uh, um, there's much more. I insert some pictures so you can see them of different kinds, beautiful ones. Um, I wish you could buy one of each, but you know, it's just impossible to buy one of each. So, but I do want to show you what I got. Look at this one. Joy is contagious. Isn't that cute? Like you can have it all year long. But I was thinking of uh, when I set it up in the office, in the counter with the tree, put it right next to the tree. Isn't that cute? But honestly, I could probably have this all day, all year out. It's really pretty. I really love that. And it's really sturdy because I've seen these at Kohl's and stuff like that. And they're always like $10, $15, you know? So, I don't know. I just, I thought it was really pretty. And there's different kinds of saints too, but that's the one I love. Uh, this one is so cute. See that? It says, to travel is to live. And the letters all glittered. And it's in the Eiffel Tower. Isn't that pretty? I thought it was. So that's pretty neat. Oh my god, this is cool. Don't count the days. Make the days count. How's that one? I love this inspirational sayings. And the, all the letters are glitter. That's so cute, huh? Just that, that, that was a great find. And this one, I, for the first time I saw it, I'm like, okay, I'm taking this one home. I love you to the moon and back. My husband and I have a little saying um, quite like that. Uh, just one word is a little different. Um, but I saw it and I'm like, oh my gosh. And I showed it to my husband. He's like, how did you get that? I said, I know, right? It's so pretty. Because I was thinking of uh, going to Pinterest, because you know, Pinterest, you can find tons of inspirational things, and going to Dollar Tree and buy the frames. So, this is all in one. You can still do that though. There's the great inspirational ones uh, in Pinterest, and you just buy a Dollar Tree frame and put it up. And this one, of course, because of the color, it's a peacock. Uh, it's little feathers, has little rhinestones on them, and I just love the color. You know, it was really pretty, so. I'm pretty excited to put these up and just have random things. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it for my Dollar Tree haul. Um, oh, I did get some Excedrin uh, migraine, but, you know, those are already used up. Excuse me. All right. So I shall see you the next time around. Uh, I have a lot of little things I need to put up. I'm thinking I want to decorate for Halloween already. I really do. <laughs>
<laughs> I might just end up doing that. What the heck? Enjoy Halloween a little longer. All right, guys. Thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, to the new subscribers, I'm so excited we got new subscribers. Um, thank you for joining us here. I don't know. I do goofy hauls sometimes, but I do try to behave myself. To be proper. Doesn't work sometimes, but I do try. <laughs> All right, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I shall see you uh, probably next weekend. Something like that. But I'm going to take another little trip to... Um, don't be surprised if I pick up more art. Really? That's awesome. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Take care. Bye. God, this is so cute. Gosh, I love this thing. Oh, yeah. He is so cute. I gotta really put him up.